Many years of solvent abuse. <laughs> you might not have put that on you. <laughs> what are we doing, Jake? That's just filling the wax oil gun so we can inject the chassis with some anti corrosion and protection. What is it that we're using? Tetra, tetra, tetra seal. Tetra seal. Highly recommend this stuff. Is it better than the wax oil stuff? Um, it's the same thing, in all fairness, but I bought this on bulk buy. Oh, everybody loves a bulk buy. Yeah, we do like a bulk buy. I'm going to get to it. And this will make it last for a million years? Well, it would like to be that thought. <laughs> <laughs> it will definitely prolong the life of the chassis. Now, are we taking out of your box of things? So, we are on Underbody Schultz. This is a tar oil based product. Helps it's all in German. <laughs> it all displaces water, helps to keep the metal from going dry and scabby, extra protection. What do you put it on with? That thing over there. Basically, a glorified stone chip gun. Marvellous. My advice is you do regulate the pressure. Yeah. Otherwise, you could end up in all sorts of a mess. It's one of those things. Just a cheap regulator. If you don't want nothing too fancy for doing this sort of stuff. Because you'll end up absolutely caked in it. Oh yes! <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> Take this sound out, actually. Ooh. That's a weird
doing my bit to help. Well done, sir. Good 
we've missed a bit here. There you go. Yeah, it's more satisfying now. I was saying before, does it dry out or not? It, it does is? seal itself over, but it doesn't dry out completely. So it stops dispersed water, any crud, any salt that gets on there, but it will never dry out completely. So if you get a petrol on a bit of rag and wipe it, it will obviously leave an oily residue on the rag. But if you don't do that and you just leave it and use it and wash it, it won't wash away because it's an oil based tar product but it stops the metal from drying out, disperses any water, so it can't oxidise as well. So when I want to do work underneath it, I'm going to get absolutely covered in this stuff, am I? Yes, but it won't rust away. That's the main thing. So it's the mechanic's worst nightmare. Oh, yes. But it does protect said vehicle. Oh, right. by the way, it's got an MOT in like a month. Well, they're going to be overly impressed, aren't they? <laughs> it's going to look brand new, <laughs> I'd it? hope so. Yeah. If it comes back for rust, I shall be deeply, deeply angry. Yeah, you won't be the only one. There's no great scientific trick to doing this. You literally oh. take said out of there, take cap off of there, that is soft, and just give it a little dap. There we go, in it goes. How many pounds is one of these? These are about 12 pounds. Are they? Yes. I thought it was gonna be way more than that. No, 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 they're not metal money. They're about 12 pounds. Um, but they do last really well. Mm. I'll give them the have you got, how many? How often have you got to do this? to it um you shouldn't have to do this now for at least another five six years i recommend that every yearly mot you have a quick look underneath it check to make sure that there is nothing coming back and nothing's drying out and you only need to top it up once you've done this not completely lather it Don't like have we have to completely done. lather it like we are now um but the other good news is that when you do put some extra on you haven't got to do all the cleaning up process that you had before because there should be anywhere near because it's any rusty it's flakes on there technically half sealed anyway yes so inside is full of wax oil the outside is covered in this stuff so hopefully this vehicle should go on for many more you years you can just use waste engine oil in oh it's lovely stuff it's absolutely horrific to do but it's lovely it just mm. goes everywhere you look completely covered from head to toe <laughs> in oil <laughs> And then when you go to said move vehicle, you think you've got an oil leak because it's still running out of said shutters. Well, oh, lovely. So Jake has gone now, he's finished that. And I, I have to say, it does look, looks like a bloody brand new one, doesn't it? This, um, I don't know if you said before, this goes tacky after a while, but never fully dries. Um, it's just to stop rut, salt, corrosion, rust, moisture, all that sort of stuff. But I'm quite pleased with how that's come out. And as you've seen, we did do both the chassis rails down to the front and that fuel tank bar. Oh, he's back. What's he forgotten? What has he forgotten? Bye, Jake. Bye. Thank you very much. Go to his Facebook page and give him a like. He's very good at what he does, and like he said, he is uh, booked up until February of 2024. We're now in 
August 23. We also put some of this on it. This is like a two part, I'm guessing it's like an epoxy uh, glue sort of thing. And that has gone absolutely solid. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to get you in there to be able to see, but it's not even come down past the shoulder of that, which is good. But I took that and washed it off earlier without a pressure wash. The under tray that's been washed both sides, whatever that is, this little helmet, fuel lines, the exhaust shield, um, and whatever else goes on it. Well, I don't know if I showed you this before, that was delivered. Got that as well, I have got the filler neck arrived the other day as well. I've cleaned in there as best I can, so now he's done the underbody Schultz, whatever it is. We can think about putting all this back together and actually have a rolling vehicle. Would be nice. And then, yeah, and then when he's ready, he's gonna let me know when I can take the tub up to him. And he's gonna fiddle around with that. What I'll try and do is when he's when he's got it and he's doing work on it, I'll get him to let me know what is going on and we might go up to his place and film a bit, but hmm, I'm very pleased with that at the moment. That looks very good. Hopefully the underside of this will look the same as the chassis with that stuff on it. Um, I've done about all I can do to that. My skill level runs out when it comes to really thin metal and what have you, but uh, yeah, we're a step closer to having a running truck. And then the fun bit will begin where we start playing with the fireman's tub. I keep saying to everyone, I bought a fireman's Sam hat and they get a bit confused when I say that, but I'm sure they'll get it in the end. But yeah, it's the end of this one. Go like Jake's page on Facebook and comment on this video, like it, subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.